In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, may they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven like the sound of rushing water or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the hundred and 44,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, 
This is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? or may stand in his holy place. He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury. And he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. It is our practice or our way of life also as Christian and Catholics to really give something for the Lord. At kapag tayo po ay hinihingan ng donasyon or ask to contribute for a certain cause, especially if we know that that cause is for charity and for the good of those who will benefit, we usually give. Kaya natural na sa atin ang magbigay at tumulong. But, of course, when we give and extend our help, there's another level. No, Again, we are being judged not so much on what is inside of us because hindi naman nakakikita yan at hindi rin naman na-examine. But usually, when we give, when we donate, the usual way we judge the generosity of a person is by the amount he or she gives. Kaya may tendency po tayo na tignan na ang mas matulungin, ang mas maraming magbigay, the more generous is our appreciation of the giver is the one who gives the bigger amount. 
by today's usual standard, the offerings of wealthy people are considered more generous than the offering of a poor widow. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus shows us another way of looking at giving, which is measured not so much by the amount of the gift as by the spirit behind the gift. The widow gave from her want, from her need. Because the gratitude of the woman for God was so great that she gave from her very subs subsistence. For her, an offering to God deserve to be the best. And so, she offered her whole livelihood. My dear brothers and sisters, for Jesus, generosity or even extending help is measured not by how costly is the gift, but by the heart of one who offers it. The sacrifice that is behind the gift, even though it might appear meager by the worldly standards. Of course, we want to praise the Lord. We want to please Him. But again, the story of our gospel today proves that indeed God's thoughts and ways are different from us. Let us continue to be generous, not because people might praise or even recognize us, but we continue to be generous because God is so generous to us. Let us give our best to give everything we have for the Lord. And you know na ang pagpapala at blessing ay higitan pa sa ibinibigay natin sa Kanya. Kaya let us, uh, inspired by the poor widow in the story of our, in the story of our gospel for today, let us give everything to the Lord. And through His providence, He will guide us in all that we need and want in this life. Please stand. The widow in the temple gave everything she had. Her generosity humbles us. Let us be generous in our prayers for others, responding to the God who gives without ceasing. God of generosity, bless us. God of generosity, bless us. That as a church, we may be generous enough to share not only for our, from our abundance, but from our own poverty. Let us pray to the Lord. God of generosity, bless us. That public officials may be freed from greed and abuse of power. Let us pray to the Lord. God of generosity, bless us. That widows, single parents, and orphans may grow in holiness and be blessed with God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. God of generosity, bless us. That the sick may unite their sufferings with the sufferings of Christ. 
Let us pray to the Lord. God of generosity, bless us. That our deceased relatives and friends may be welcomed to God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. God of generosity, bless us. Heavenly Father, open our hearts to those around us so that we may recognize your presence in our neighbors and friends and discover the happiness in sharing our life with them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts, we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us uh, give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happier we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Thank you. 
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.